Why is the industry so obsessed with singles nowadays? What happened to the art of the album? The kind of music that told a story from start to finish. Today I want to dive into something deep that's been bugging me for quite a while, the slow and painful death of the album. Remember the good old days when an album was more than just a collection of tracks? It was a journey, it was an experience to go down, a place to get lost in from the opening note to the final fade out. Well, those days are sadly slipping away, and no, it's not the nostalgia talking, it's driven by how we are consuming music in today's culture. Sure, singles are easy to drop, quick to stream, keep the artist in the public eye for a little bit, but here's the problem. Albums used to be a statement, a cohesive body of work that used to showcase the artist's vision. Now the focus has shifted into churning out hits, and that shift is killing the craftsmanship of a full album. This isn't just about how artists are releasing music, it's about what we're losing as fans. Instead of savouring a full course meal, we're being fed these snack-sized bites that, while tasty, ultimately don't satisfy. Why is this happening? Well, two words for you instant gratification. In a world where Spotify, Apple Music, and TikTok dominate, the industry has recalibrated. It's now all about the one viral moment rather than the 12-piece track that takes time and attention to really appreciate. But what can be done when algorithms reward frequent releases, which puts pressure on the artist to consistently drop singles? This focus on singles is diluting the depth and the creativity that used to define music. Artists are more worried about getting playlisted than creating a thoughtful album. The rise and fall of the classic album. Think back with me to albums that changed the scene forever. The Beatles' Sgt. Pepper, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, Kendrick's To Pimp a Butterfly, and Frank Ocean's Blonde. These weren't just a collection of songs, these were cultural events. And that's just to name a few. These albums were complete with themes and narratives and flow that singles just can't replicate. When artists set out to create an album, they're inviting you into a world, a carefully crafted world that's meant to be enjoyed as a whole. But with the industry's relentless push towards singles, we're losing that depth. We're losing that immersive journey that only an album can provide. Instead, we're getting tracks that are engineered to grab your attention span for 30 seconds on TikTok, rather than meaningful media that lingers in your mind for days or weeks to come. The influence of streaming, the short-term gains and the long-term losses. Streaming platforms may have undeniably changed the game, but not always for the better. The shift from physical media to digital media has transformed how we experience music, and this is often at the expense of the artist's quality and intent. Artists are pressured into releasing singles instead of taking the time to craft a full album. It's a vicious cycle of drop a track, stay relevant, and repeat. This constant soul-sucking churn is what's driving the creativity out of the music making process. The industry is chasing short-term gains, quick hits that drive up streams and keep the artist in the spotlight. But what about the long-term losses? When we reduce an artist's work to a series of singles, we strip away that depth, that deeper connection, a connection that only comes from a full album experience. Why is this bad for music? Albums offer artists a space to explore complex ideas and to tell stories that can't be condensed in a three minute track. They allow for experimentation, for growth, giving the listener something more substantial than just a catchy hook. And as fans, we lose out too. There's something special about listening to an album and letting it wash over you and discovering new layers with each new listen. A unique experience that can't be replicated on a single. Shared experiences with albums used to foster a sense of community amongst listeners, leading to discussions and interpretations. But nowadays with singles, the conversation usually seems to go like this. Yo bro, have you taken a listen to Eminem's new track? Yeah, what of it? I thought it was ass. Like seriously, when was the last time that a piece of music, a single, drove you to conversation? That bubbled and boiled emotions inside of you that you didn't even know you had? It's again, that experience that an album thrives in. The industry's role and in chasing the next viral hit. Because the industry has become obsessed with these quick hits, these massive viral moments, labels would rather have a string of chart-topping singles than invest in an artist's growth and long-term creativity through an album. This short-sighted approach might turn quick profits, but ultimately it is hurting the art of music and it's hurting the fans that are craving more than just the latest trend. We used to follow artists and their come up stories, cheer for the underdogs as they progressively through each new album, discovered their sound and curated a message that they as artists became 
symbols of. And now the industry is mass producing one hit wonders like never before. And by the time that you find an artist that actually has creative potential, it seems like they're dated before they even had a chance to take off as the new hot thing is already in town. And this is just week after week, rinse and repeat as each new trend comes along, the honesty and the individuality is stripped from the culture. We are witnessing the slow erosion of the album as an art form, the meticulous craftsmanship that it takes to create an album, a project that tells a story, that conveys a message, that takes the listener on a journey is disappearing. The shift isn't just changing music, it's changing the entire culture around music. We are moving away from deep and meaningful connections that albums used to foster. What needs to change? Because I can't be the only one advocating for albums. Fans need to speak up. If you love an artist and they've got albums currently out, give them just as much attention and affection as you would any of their popular singles. Let them know that you value the full experience that they have created for you. Artists should push back. If you're an artist, you shouldn't let the industry pressure you into abandoning albums. Singles are important, but albums are your legacy. It's what fans will remember you by, long after your singles have faded from the charts. Re-embrace the journey. Remember that music isn't just about hitting the next big trend. There are emotional experiences to be cultivated through the production of an album. The big picture? This shift to signals represents more than just a change of how to release music, but it changes how we consume art. We are moving towards a world where music is gonna be like fast food, quick, convenient, and ultimately forgettable. But albums, ooh, albums are the fine dining of music. They're meant to be savored, appreciated, ultimately remembered. If we let albums die, we are losing something irreplaceable, more than just the artistry. I would even go as far to say that we are losing the soul of music. The bottom line is we need to bring back the album. The industry might be pushing singles, but we, the fans and artists need to keep the album alive. If you're tired of the same old tunes dominating the charts, share this video, drop a comment, and let's have a conversation about why albums still matter. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell as well for more industry deep dives Together, we can keep the album alive.